Hey guys, welcome and to some of you, welcome back. Today's video, I'm taking the OV10 Bronco. This is a new mod by Split Air. I'm going to take it to its bases. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to see the flight dynamics. I'm going to test out the stalls, accelerated stalls. I'm going to do some slow flight in it. This is very, very important. Hope you pay attention to this one. Um, I did actually take their challenge and, and tested its turn rates and its performance. So I'm going to post that here. And then I'm also going to fly it upside down. Uh, and I'm going to do a couple of landings. So stick with me. This is going to be fun. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So let's go on this ride. First, the takeoff. Uh, you have to be very easy when you first start taking off because it tends to go to one side. So until it starts going uh, and you've got some rudder control, you want to try to maintain it on the center line here. Um, once you're on the center line, that's full power and you're going down. About 100 knots, you want to start rotating. Um, once you lift off of course gear flaps up and all that and uh, you know what let's pause here for a second let's see the stake off it's kind of kind of it was pretty smooth and then we'll continue it's a very nice smooth takeoff I like the way this plane took off very good handling thick wings as soon as we're up we kind of want to bring the torque down and we want to bring the RPMs down, put them in the green. Um, the pl a plane has plenty of power as long as you don't have a lot of uh, weapons outside that slow you and drag you um, and you're clean. The plane has pl pl plenty of power. So let's go to the testing area and let's do some of this testing. The first test I'm going to do is a stall. This is a basic stall. I'm going to, I'm at 1500 feet, 1500. Uh, power full out the gears flaps are down everything is down I'm going to just keep pulling up pitching up trying to maintain this altitude keep pitching up and, and I'm waiting for that stall you can see the shake 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 and uh, it's not nose is not falling so I noticed that I put the nose down myself power in and started to recover now because the stall was not noticed and the nose did not fall down I did not even know I was in the stall so the plane just fell down which is what happens in the stall but the nose did not come down I had to recognize it and put the nose down they should probably add a little bit of a force forward on that and, and, and fix get that one fixed okay so now let's do some accelerated stalls here this is a stall where you're not slow but you're pulling enough until you get a hit a critical angle of attack right here I just added some power and I'm pulling all the way back all the way back and again plane is at this point falling down but and technically it's a stall but the the, the nose never lost authority so um, I never knew I was in the stall until I saw the ground coming and that can be dangerous if you're low because look what happens you have to recognize it and get out of it uh, usually in an airplane the nose will kind of pitch forward and you'll know okay I'm in a stall in this one the plane falls loses altitude correctly but there is no pitch forward so acts correctly but the nose doesn't act correctly next thing I'm gonna do this is slow flight this is very very important in this airplane and I'll, I'll tell you in a second explain why uh, basically what I did here this is minimum controllable airspeed gears flaps are down and um, I've added power and I'm maintaining altitude uh, 500 feet here right so I'm staying at 500 feet I got enough power to keep me level and this is where I get the hang of the plane I'm about uh, slowing down here I'm gonna be about 75 you don't want to go below 70 75 is good and you want to get the hang of the plane one thing I noticed immediately on this plane more than the others is that when you when you're in slow flight and you go to turn even though I'm doing shallow turns you're supposed to uh, you start really losing that altitude and you got to add that power in and you really really have to add it in and level out because if you don't add it in and level out you're gonna keep sinking and I'll show you in a second what happens when, when you're sinking in this plane it's not it's not a fun uh, fun place to be now this is pretty accurate actually you got those thick wings create a lot of drag it's a slow airspeed plane so here uh, I'm just doing some turns trying to maintain
dipped my wing a little too much and I immediately started losing altitude and then I pitched up and here after 70 nose is shaking and I'm still losing altitude the only way to get out of it is actually pitching it down a little bit like I did I just pitched down a little bit stabilized it got that airspeed up to 80 now I'm still fine again so very important in this one to don't go below 70 look right here here it is again 70 I'm adding full power full power full power but look at the sync rate sync rate is increasing and increasing until I put that nose down and recover so something to keep in mind uh, for especially later uh, when you're coming to landings because there is a delay in this airplane between you adding power and between when you get that power and that is also another thing that I love about this plane so okay so enough of this next thing I'm gonna show you I'm gonna post the results here you can see them uh, what I'm doing here this is actual sustained turns this is per their chart in the manual they asked us to actually do it so I went out and did it so I started out at higher air speeds and I went down by about 20 knots and uh, tested it and you can see the sustained turns they're very very accurate in this plane um, they, they, at least to what they claim uh, the, the performance is they are sticking to that performance now the next thing is the instantaneous turn rate and this one is wild because you have to go f just full full pull, pull back full back pull back the airspeed drops like crazy and your the turn rates are out of whack they really are they're all the way up there the only thing I kind of did not like about this is that there is no accelerated stall so I'm not technically sure how much you can pull on this plane before it actually stalls again I'm not saying correct or not correct I'm just saying that that accelerated stall is not present in this plane okay so the next thing I'm doing I'm actually gonna fly it upside down and besides this being fun in VR because it does feel like you're hanging upside down it's, it serves a purpose uh, I really want to see how many negative G's or how long this airplane can fly in negative G's it's not really rated for negative G's it's rated for uh, for flight I'm trying to keep it level here and as you can tell I'm actually doing this over the runway it's just instinctive it's just out of habit anytime you do something make sure you you have a place to land okay here goes the engine let's just roll it out let's put them up to air restart here okay let's get that pitch going here and that airspeed going and then let's put the throttles back to restart okay oh there it goes I don't know I'm not sure if it actually completely died out but just in case I, I did a restart here and the engine picked right back up so this took about 30 seconds for the engines to shut down and this was the first time now and when I did it a following couple of times after this it took about five to ten seconds so only the first time was the longest time now let's go do the two landings in this I want to show you two landings and then we'll call it a day one thing to remember about this airplane is you're always you got to stay ahead of it you have to stay ahead of this airplane the approach the final approach is 110 make sure you got that power in because if you take that power out and slow down you're gonna lose that airspeed fast so keep that power in keep it at 110 and keep it all the way up until you get to the to the threshold of the runway once you get to the threshold of the runway just nicely pull it out and uh, float down to the ground it's a nice touchdown and um, nice and easy landing now I'm gonna do one more landing after this you guys are gonna like this one if you stick around uh, we'll see this one from the outside and then we'll do the other other cool landing okay now this next landing is uh, something called a short approach and uh, it's I use it in my civilian life I, I love to do these uh, when I'm out flying with friends and uh, basically what you do is you're at 600 feet at the threshold and then you're gonna just do a nice turn here one thing remember what I said may keep it at 110 because you can slow down really quick here and if you slow down you you're not gonna make it to the runway so this is just one smooth pull and uh, 
just roll out just as you're over the runway, touch down on the center line, and call it a day. So, anyway guys, hope you liked this video, hope you enjoyed it, take care, and I'll see you guys soon.